Hi, I'm Scott. Aiden. Leo. Lindsay. Animesh. Alec. Brooke. Sky. Preston. Michael. Rodney. Sherry. Colin. Luke. Nico. Matia. Mia. Island. Clara. It's your boy John Barron. Thanks for tuning in, and you're watching. Great job. Has time to do something. Socks for the win. Oh yes! Oh yes! Unbelievable! Unbelievable! <laughs> perfect season. Scan the link to join the school-wide March Madness bracket. Compete against fellow students and teachers for bragging rights. Submissions close tomorrow, so make sure to get yours in ASAP. Dear Asian Youth Nova is partnering with the Novi Public Library to make cultural craft kits for AAPI Heritage Month in May. They need volunteers on March 22nd at 3 p.m. at the Novi Public Library to help assemble these kits. Interested? Sign up through the QR code. Submit Novi Public Library teen volunteer paperwork if you don't already have one on file through Dear Asian Youth Novi for this school year. You must submit your paperwork to Mrs. Morozik in room 226 by March 16th. All kit assembly will be done on Wednesday, March 22nd from 3 to 5 p.m. in the Youth Activity Room on the first floor of the Novi Public Library. I'm Matia. This is Caden. We're teaming up to do our own podcast called Cultiverse. Caden, tell me what it's about. Basically, Cultiverse is a podcast about a lot of things that have to do with pop culture, mainly movies, games, shows. We're basically going to be talking about that. We'll be giving reviews, talking about some news that is just coming up, just to keep you all updated, and I'm actually pretty excited. I'm pretty excited, too, man. I can't wait to be talking, but uh, stay tuned, Novi, and thanks for watching. This is just a reminder that the Get Caught Reading event is still going on. Teachers and staff are still looking for students to make the choice to read when it is not required or assign work and getting them a book review slip to turn to the Media Center for a small prize. The grand prize drawing from all slips will take place on the 24th, next Friday, and students and staff prizes will be drawn. We hope to see you enter. Trunk. Later. So, what's the theme? Venice is a high school branch of Miracorps, which is a nonprofit organization associated with the University of Michigan. And we're currently working on a research abstract where we're getting to use really cool tools. And with this research abstract, you can also put it into a competition at the end of the year that's also affiliated with UFM. And if you are chosen and selected, you can also perform your research abstract and share it with professors and students alike. Miracorps also has a lot of other activities. For example, we had a competition. Um, where it was um, on biology, biological information just a couple of months ago, and we also have other activities as well. So if you are interested, you can also email me and Monica. Yeah, this year's research is focused on autoimmune diseases, and we research it using computational biology methods. A new restaurant opened in Novi recently, and it's already making waves for its automotive ambience and delicious burgers. 
Ford's Garage is a vintage 1920s service station that features fixtures and Ford memorabilia. This is its second location in Michigan and opened in Fountain Walk just a couple weeks ago. And let me tell you, the food here is just as impressive as the decor. They have a lot of burgers, some of which are named after famous people around Novi, one of those people being our very own principal, Nicole Carter. So let's go in and check it out. My name is Kelly Walzak. I'm the general manager here. Ford's Garage Novi opened February 27th, 2023. We're actually on day 16 today. So Ford's Garage is themed after a 1920s Ford service garage station. Um, so everything, the decor, the uniforms, everything you see in and around the building is based on that. So we're known primarily for our prime burgers and our craft beer. Um, we have uh, 13 different burgers of fame. So we actually, we try to do all of our burgers of fame um, named after local celebrities or heroes or things like that. And when we heard Nicole Carter won principal of the year this year, it was kind of a no brainer that we wanted to have her included on in our burgers of fame. Um, and I was really excited she chose the patty melt because that's one of my personal favorites. So I think that's awesome that she got to be that one as well. So the patty melt's a traditional, you know, Detroit style patty melt. It's gonna be toasted rye bread, Swiss cheese, caramelized onions and Thousand Island dressing along with our signature eight ounce uh, Angus burger patty. So I absolutely love burgers. I haven't had beef all my life and I just recently discovered burgers and I have been on a craze um, of eating beef burgers. So I'm really excited to try this. I think she called it a, a patty melt. Um, and so I'm gonna just take a bite here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. That is good. I'm, I'm gonna have to take another bite. It's like cheesy. Okay, first of all, I don't know if you saw that that cheese, that cheese on um, like rise when I pulled it apart. And like, I think the flavor is really there. Especially this bread, it's like perfect, crispy on top. Yeah, I like it. I've never had anything like this before. And this was a good experience. The Miss Carter meal tastes great to me. Miss Carter definitely has a good taste in burgers. I will say that. I think this is a 10 out of 10 burger to represent Novi High School. This is what I taste every day I walk into the building. Of all the burgers at Novi, this has to be in the top three that I've had. 10 out of 10 for me. Um, we're super excited to be part of the Novi community. We love being here. You guys have been great with a very warm welcome already, and we're just quite excited to be a part of it. If you're looking for something fun to do this Friday night, take you and your family over to Ford's Garage. 10 out of 10 atmosphere, 10 out of 10 food. Remember, drive, but don't speed over to Ford's Garage. Thanks for watching this edition of the Cat's Eye News. We're going to see you tomorrow. That's right, you heard me right, tomorrow. We're putting a broadcast Thursday and Friday this week.